So in the last video I showed you how to shoot this product with two desk lamps with normal domestic bulbs in. And in this one I just wanted to give you a couple of options that might give you slightly better results. At the moment uh, there's no artificial light in this room at all. The only light source is daylight coming through the window over there and it's kind of an overcast day outside so there's quite a diffuse light coming in. And if you look at the product it's actually quite well lit. I'd say perhaps there's only two problems with this light. Firstly, it's a little bit too dark, especially for shooting with a camera phone like this. You might be alright with an SLR. And secondly, because the light's all coming from one direction, you do still get quite a harsh shadow, even though the, the light source is very diffuse, quite a, a, a sharp shadow behind the, uh, the product here, which is slightly distracting. Now even just sticking with our one natural light source, there's a couple of things we could do. Firstly, we could move the set closer to the window so we get more light coming in. Now, I can't really feasibly do that here because there's just too much junk in this room. Um, but the second thing we could do is put a reflector here and see if we can get some of the light from the window bouncing back onto the product from the other side. So I'm going to set up the camera using the same manual settings that I had last time. So I've got it on a tripod because I'm going to use a long exposure, in this case a 25th of a second. So that's too long to hold by hand. Uh, and I've got this two second shutter delay. And I'm also setting the ISO setting on the camera to be as low as possible, in this case 25, so we get as much clarity from the sensor as we can. So this is just with one light source, the, the daylight coming through the window over there. Now I've got this uh, piece of foam board here that I was using before to bounce the desk lamps off. If I put this behind, We get a little bit of light bounce back from here, uh, which cuts the shadow slightly. And we can also try a much bigger bit of foam board uh, like this and see if we can get a bit more light bouncing back. So I think even with these reflectors, there's not enough light. So I want to add some extra light to this scene and there's a number of ways I could do that. The first thing I could do is just take one of the desk lamps I used before and add that to the lighting sources. Uh, there are two problems with this approach. Firstly, the light coming from the window is much more powerful than the light coming from this desk lamp. So it's really overpowered. It doesn't really do much to reduce this shadow. And the second problem is, as I said before, the colour of this light is way more yellow than the light coming from there. So we're going to have really bad white balance problems. The simplest solution to this problem is to just replace the bulb that's in there with a bulb like this, which is a daylight balance bulb. It's also a bit more powerful than the standard bulb that's in there. And these bulbs cost about five pounds from a DIY store. In my case, just to make things a little bit more complicated, all my bulbs have different fittings. So I have to bring in a different desk lamp to use the daylight bulb. Hopefully you can see that the color is much better. It's more evenly matched to the light that's coming in through the window. It's also much more powerful than the standard domestic bulb I was using before. And perhaps by using a reflector I can get a nicely diffused light that cancels out some of these shadows. So this is a similar setup to the one I used before where the light's pointing away from the product and bounced off this piece of white foam board. And uh, it's okay. But I want to try one more option which involves buying some kit but I hope relatively affordable kit and kit which is going to be useful if you see yourself doing this again and again. There's no way I could fit all this in shot with the setup I had before, but this is what I'm talking about. These are daylight balanced CFL bulbs. They're not actually LED bulbs, so they're quite affordable and they come with this uh, tripod mount here or light stand mount, should I say. And I've mounted these on standard light stands. And I'm also using these diffusing umbrellas. Now all three of these things I actually bought uh, at different times but they all fit together because these are very standard fittings and they're all very cheap on Amazon or eBay. So here we've just got one of those lights pointing through the diffusion umbrella straight onto the product. I'd say that's already quite a big improvement. So here I've added a second light coming from the other side also pointing through a diffusion umbrella and again I think that's a pretty good setup. You'll see that once you start adding tripods and umbrellas like this, your working space becomes very cramped and cluttered. 
I'm going to try one more shot with one of the lights a bit more facing onto the product. So you can't, you can't actually even see the product now, but of course the camera that I'm taking these photos with is in front of those lights. So here's the setup showing the camera I'm taking the photos with on the tripod. Now I think it's time to take all this stuff down and have a look at these photos on the computer.